Today's Harley project ought to be an easy one. I just got the uh, clear turn signal lens kit. Comes with the uh, amber bulbs to go and everything. The uh, I didn't really like the front turn signals on these bikes when I got it, but they've kind of grown on me. And I didn't realize at the time that they're also a running light when you're on. But these have got an amber cover that's fairly clear with an 1157 bulb uses as a turn signal. The back, they're, uh, they're not as clear as the front ones. I think that's just from age, but should be an easy mod. Just change bulbs. The lenses just pop out, so I'll get them changed and then see what they look like. Well, when I started this little turn signal video, I said this ought to be a nice little easy modification. Yep, I jinxed myself. I was wrong. Here is your front turn signal lenses, and here is the back. They are not the same. And the kit. Here's the turn signal lens part number that comes in the kit. And they are like the front, not the back. And they do not interchange. So you can see the lip where it clips in is a lot shorter on the back. These use a lot longer tabs and set up different. Style and diameter is all the same. So what I did was took my brand new clear lenses, because I'm very determined, took them to the belt sander and sanded these tabs down to where they're short, like this. And that lets it snap in and the surface of the turn signal and this meet up like it's supposed to. But the way the tabs are spaced out, it doesn't snap in as tight as the front ones do. So I'm afraid I'll probably hit a bump and lose it. So my solution after dicking around with it for a while was to give it a wrap, snap them in there, and I gave it a wrap of pinstripe material. And that holds it in place, doesn't look too terrible. I mean, unless you're looking for it, it doesn't really. So... That is what I came up with. And I think I may pick up some silver pinstripe and put around that. Kind of match the tip of the exhaust. But that does, you can make them fit. And I, I went to look. I don't even know what the hell clear turn signal lenses are supposed to fit in the back. I wasn't having any luck finding them. But besides that, I am. That's kind of hard to see with the dang headlight on, but I am happy with the way they look. It, it looked pretty sharp, yeah, and you can't really tell them. But yeah. yeah. Clear lens off. Flashy clear lens there. The overall, I'm happy with it. I would be very happy if they would just fit like they're supposed to. The only other complaint I have is the bulbs they sent. These are 1156 and 1157A bulbs. They cheaped out. I don't even know if there's a price difference, but the A bulbs are an amber coated bulb. They have a, a coating on the inside of the lens that makes it amber. The NA bulbs are natural amber. The glass itself is amber. So what happens when these get some age on them, that amber coating on the inside starts flaking off. And you can just put new bulbs in, that fixes it right up. But it would have been nice if they just sent the NA bulbs to start with. But now this was the kit. Here's the, here's the part number of the kit I ordered. And this, according to Harley's website, should have fit. Because I just typed in 2009... Uh, XR1200, but it doesn't, so if you like modifying, don't get them. I did end up 
getting some silver vinyl and wrap those turn signals to make sure the lens doesn't come out. And, well, it sucks that the lenses didn't fit like they should. I'm, I'm happy with the way that looks. I think it looks pretty trick. But we'll just go with that for now. If I can find some actual clear lenses that fit these turn signals, I might go ahead and get them, but this will work. The only reason I kept these turn signals is because they're pretty dang sturdy. You can use them as a, I use them as a tie down point for my uh, little tail pack, so. I think it looks okay.